So guys, first and foremost, I want to thank you for tuning into this video. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that notification bell. Like this content if it brings you guys value. We're cruising towards that 15,000 subscriber mark at the making of this video. And uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you want to see next? I do this every few months. What kind of video are you guys really going to benefit from? Whether it be junk removal, whether it be dumpster rentals, whether it be the equipment we use, startup tips, anything like that. Remember, I can't do much for the residential route because Tyler does most of it and I'm not riding with him during the day anymore. But yeah, let me know. What, what's a video? Put that in the comments below, guys. What's a video we haven't done yet that you guys would like to see? in the next few videos. Uh, hook lift video is coming. We're still doing the build on that. <laughs> Dumpsters are being built. Lead time's crazy with COVID guys. Uh, but that thing is gonna be coming out here in the next few weeks and I'm gonna do the full rundown on pricing and all that stuff like we've talked about. So this truck behind me is a 2021 Ram 2500 Tradesman trim with the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine in it. I made a video about when I bought the truck uh, back in March and this video is being recorded in October and to date we've put 18,000 miles on this truck so far. It has completed about 290 dumpster rentals so far and about 10 clean outs that I would consider speaking of, which is a clean out is like junk removal. And when I say speaking of, those were five, $600 or more junk removal jobs that we took this truck, took a roll off dumpster, filled it up with. So far guys, so good. Uh, this truck has been averaging about 12.4 miles per gallon. That's, and it's towing, I would say 95% of the time. I really don't use this truck as a daily driver. And so far I have not had a single issue with the truck. Transmissions held up really good. Again, it's only 18,000 miles, but transmission's been good. You know, just add DEF to it because it's a diesel put fuel in it and away we go. We did throw an aftermarket set of tires on this guys. And I ran them on both the trucks. They're a Mastercraft Corsair AXT2. The reason for that being is our landfill is a mud pit and uh, with the four wheel drive, we still come close to getting stuck when we're loaded at times when it's super muddy. So aftermarket tires is the only thing that I've put on this truck other than the graphics. Performance wise, everything else is bone stock. We run a two and five sixteenths ball. Both of our trailers, our dump trailer and our roll off trailer are both two and five sixteenths balls. So put one of those guys on, went with like a solid shaft, 16,000 pound capacity ball hitch if you will uh, but other than that guys the truck is running the way it was from the factory and it's bone stock and i would consider it now to be like broken in and uh 12.4 miles per gallon towing or running around town on average i'm pretty happy with that gas jobs typically get anywhere in that seven to eight range so a little better than the gas job and uh also power wise guys hands down more power than my 6.4 but let me know in the comments below are you guys driving a ford gas a uh, ram gas chevy gas or are you driving any of those three trucks in a diesel what are you using to tow your dump trailers around guys this is a general uh review of this truck not so much uh just for the dumpster rental business but any towing business in general if you guys are going to get into towing things whether it be excavators if you're going to tow uh, around trailers full of pavers with a skid steer um, or if you're going to do junk removal like me where we get into you know cleaning out houses and garages or a customer might tear a roof off and throw three tons of shingles in the dumpster so far like i said all of those things i can see this truck uh, doing well at not to mention the price tag was a couple thousand dollars cheaper than all of the competition for pretty much the same exact truck spec for spec with a hundred thousand mile powertrain warranty so guys as far as maintenance is concerned what have we done for maintenance on this truck in the last eighteen thousand? We've done the fuel filters once. We're getting ready to do a, again because it's roughly every nine to 10,000 miles. They recommend that diesel trucks. And uh, we've rotated the tires a couple of times, changed oil a couple of times. Other than that, guys, we're still on the same stock brake pads and those are doing fine. This truck does have an exhaust brake, which I think they all do. All the diesel uh, trucks come standard with an exhaust brake now, the 25 and 3500s, which helps us if we're on a hill, save the brakes. Um, it does have obviously trailer brake control and both of our trailers have electronic brakes they're uh they're not just like non-braking trailers that would require the truck to stop the whole load both of them have electric brakes which assist with the brake pads on the truck 
but for the most part no reflashes yet no warranty claims yet on this truck that uh that i've either got in the mail or know about if i don't know about them and you guys do let me know in the comments below uh, but all in all truck was about fifty four thousand dollars out the door i think it was fifty four thousand sticker i got some rebates off of it and then obviously had to pay sales tax but uh but yeah i mean all in all, right now I just called a wholesaler to see because this truck might be going down the road if we keep going with the hook lift model. And right now this truck wholesale to a wholesaler, not like trying to sell it myself, just make a phone call today, sell it $48,000. So it's held its value pretty good for 18,000 miles on it. It's grossed over $100,000 in revenue this year so far with just this truck alone and very minimal maintenance guys so um, i'm gonna give the ram 2500 the 2021 67 uh, diesel version for an under 20,000 miles uh, or almost at 20,000 miles review i'm gonna give it five stars uh, because so far there's nothing that i can pinpoint out of this truck that i don't like so let me know in the comments below have you guys had problems have you guys had any problems with your trucks uh, what brand truck do you have and what issues did you have? So guys, if you were to ask me, would I buy this truck again if I was just getting into the business? I 100% would say yes, especially if I was just gonna do it on a smaller scale by myself. At this point in the game, guys, we've been doing this for a few years. I'm getting into the hook lift truck for more reasons than just to haul dumpsters. We have some other things in the works, but if I were to just be either doing this business as a side hustle or buying a single cab truck to add to my fleet, to either start a dumpster rental business or pull some dump trailers around, I would have no hesitation buying a Ram 2500 again. Especially, like I said, this one's a 2020, 2021. Uh, it looks mean, it acts mean, it tows really good, uh, and it's held up good for me so far, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. We'll see you guys in the next one.